As COVID-19 vaccines roll out and they pick up their pace, countries such as Britain are already looking at a second generation of shots to keep the variants at bay. Joining us now from London is Bloomberg Healthcare reporter Susie Ring, who recently reported on this. Susie, thanks so much for, for being here. Your article points out that it's going to take more than just time and uh, this vaccine to end the pandemic. It's also going to say, take some good tactics when it comes to reformulating these vaccines, potentially. So what's the fear about these new variants and, 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 and what can be done to vaccine in order to actually prevent these new variants from taking, uh, taking over? Well, that's exactly it. Obviously, we've just come out with this first generation of vaccines. But as you say, we're already seeing variants that are evading the vaccines at the moment, not to such a worrying extent. We're just seeing slightly uh, reduced efficacy against some of the variants. But obviously, we want to be prepared for them to potentially totally evade them and have second generation vaccines ready to go against those variants so that we can ensure protection long term. So what we're seeing now is drug makers are having to pivot and they're having to look at how can they tweak the existing vaccines to now uh, counter against the variants that we're seeing come through. Obviously, one of the difficulties of this is we don't know what the future variants are going to be and it takes time to work on these projects. So they're having to work on a, a medley of options at the moment. So we don't yet know, but we're hoping that we will have by the fall uh, some kind of booster shots and whether that's multiple vaccines against different strains or whether that's one vaccine that can cover multiple strains, which would obviously be the goal. Um, we've yet to see, but the research is going to start happening in the coming weeks and months. So, so what do we know, Susie, if we take a step back uh, about the way these variants uh, can get past or, or, or make the existing vaccines less, less uh, effective? So the current uh, roster of vaccines all target the, the S, the spike protein, which we know is how the, va the virus gets into our cells. And at the moment, what we're seeing with variants is that it hasn't deviated too much, but there is concern that it could. And then if that undermined the vaccine completely, we'd need to obviously have alternative shots to protect us. So what uh, the drug makers are doing at the moment is taking their technology and looking at um, how they can insert other sequences. We actually, a good example to look at is with the flu vaccine. Mm. We have flu vaccines that count to multiple strains every year and they're tweaked depending on what the prevalent strain is um, for that season. And what we may see in the future is something akin to that, where hopefully you can have multiple strains covered by one shot that can just be tweaked for whichever strain is more prevalent in a particular region at a particular time. Is there a chance that we may not need these vaccines to evolve over time and that, that the variants can get under control with the existing vaccines that we have out now, especially the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna? Anything is possible at this point, and oh. that's why we've seen initiatives like the UK government uh, pairing up with CureVac, which is a German company who are also making an mRNA vaccine. And they're looking to use tools like AI, kind of crosswalking their UK surveillance technology with the vaccine uh, technology to try and see how they can predict for future variants so that we can make sure we're running ahead rather than not always kind of chasing our tail when it comes to variants. So, so what does this mean for the future of vaccinations and, and, and with regard to COVID? Does it mean that we are going to be treating this more like a yearly flu vaccine? and we're going to be doing this uh, every year and getting a vaccine every year? At the moment, that's what the picture looks like. It looks like we could well have a situation like flu where we have an annual booster, annual vaccine um, that mitigates against the particular variant that's prevalent at that time, but also hopefully multiple variants covered by one shot. That's the current um, most likely outcome. But as I say, we're monitoring closely how these variants are changing because one of the problems that developers have right now is they're going to start testing their vaccines against these new variants. They're going to start tweaking them to counter them, but we don't know what future variants are coming. So we're just hoping that they, they and governments can step up to the sophistication of being able to predict what might be coming down the line so that, yes, we can have an annual booster potentially that's sufficient uh, to cover against future strains as well. Bloomberg, Susie Ring. Susie, thank you, as always, for your time. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.